this episode of Traymaster Bob, we're going to follow the first bath drill. The first bath drill comes out of the yard at Port Morris, New Jersey, via staging. Operates to Bath, Pennsylvania, where it goes into the west yard, makes the interchange with the Lehigh New England Railroad, switches Keystone Cement, switches uh, the uh, scrap yard, weighs the cars of bulk cement that came out of the Keystone, and then returns back to Port Morris Yard via staging. And now on to the first bath drill. We found a good spot to catch the bath drill as it comes up the steep grape in the Delaware River Valley with a train up into the slate belt of Pennsylvania. Bath drill carries traffic going to the west yard of Bath or the Keystone Cement Mill, interchange with the Northampton Bath Railroad, and interchange with the Lehigh and New England Railroad. All we watch as the train comes over at Shades of Death Crossing. Watch the train pull out the yard lead and onto the main. It passes the industries on the west side of Prosperity. It also passes the car sitting in siding at Prosperity for the Prosperity drill to come and spot after this train. Up the crossing at Northampton Street. Stop. Let's get a brake turn off. Go fly the crossing. We do three tracks here and close clearances. Uh, crews are required to stop here and fly the crossing. Brake and stop all the traffic. Cement drill passes through the Brick Canyon on the west side of Prosperity. Watch now as it First cement drill goes through the S curves at Harmony and goes over Shades of Death Road. Shades of Death Road is caught in that name because there's seven unprotected railroad crossings here on this road and you're taking your life into your hands every time you uh, try to drive a vehicle over one of these crossings and just hope there isn't a train coming. The cars parked uh, in the uh, west track or the siding up close to the crossing. Visibility is very limited. As the train goes through 
train goes by. I'll see it uh, as it uh, comes around out of the other end of Harmony. Now the first Bath drill is arriving in the east yard at Bath and he's going to cut his engines off here and run with his power into the yard at Bath and start uh, doing his pools. Uh, it's far easier to leave your train out on the main line, go in, do your pools, weigh your cars, and then come back and start spotting your cars to Keystone Cement and to the Lehigh New England. If you have Lehigh New England cars in your train. We leave our train here in the East Yard and we're going to run around to the West Yard next with our locomotives. And we're going to start uh, doing our pools at Keystone Cement. We're going to pull down the east yard lead of the west yard here at Bath. And our first move is we're going to head over to Keystone Cement and we're going to pull the empty coal cars off the coal dock. Pull up the switch to the coal dock. Let our brakeman get off, line the switch. Just come ahead. And up the track and we come on into the coal dock. And we go against our empties. Brickman's gone in between, coupling up the air, he's come out, giving us a go ahead sign. And pull the empties out of the coal dock. Train pulls down the east lead of the west yard at Bath. We're going to stop. Brakeman's going to line the switch and we're going to shove our empty coal cars into track number two. Which is line. We're going to shove them back into track two. Brakeman's pulled the pin. Give us a go ahead sign. Pull down, just clear the switch to track three. Okay, the switch is lined. I'm gonna run down to track three to the other end of the yard. Okay. Stop here at the end of track three. Let Brickman get off. Line this out of three onto the lead and off the lead into the package track. Please give us a come ahead. We're going to run down the package track and we're going to pick up one load of bag cement. 
Brake runs in between, coupling up the air hoses. Now out, give us the signal to go ahead and pull. We shove down the west end lead and we head into the bulk tracks. There's a track uh, one first. And we got a joint with uh, both cars on track one. Pull out with uh, two loads of cement. Left the rest of the track in there. Cars aren't loaded yet. Arrows are coupled, brake lines charged. Got some room to shove back. We're going to shove back to so clear the switch. Okay. Clear the switch. We're going to line the switch. We're going to come up track one. We're going to come onto the scale and we're going to weigh our outbound both cars to cement. We'll up track one over the dead rail to the scale. Stop. Go on and switch. Okay. Now we pull up the clear. Brake moves line just onto the live rail. Going to shove our first car back. Place it on a scale. Conductor will weigh the car. Conductor is giving us a signal that the car is weighed and to push it. We bottled the air in that first car. We'll push it. We pulled away. The brakeman's got to open up the angle cock on the car, dump the air. And that'll be our brake car. We come back. Next car spotted on the scale. We we'll gotta wheel that car on. So it go off. Okay. Going to the conductors indicated that the car has been weighed for us to come back. Push here. Push back. On prototype scales, the uh, scale would normally be elevated a few feet and the track would slope away from it on both sides. When weighing cars, you put your first car on the scale, you'd uh, weigh it, put the couplers, knuckles, bottle the air in the car and give the car a kick. It rolled down away from the scale when it was far enough away to have room for the rest of the cars that you were weighing. And that cut, brakeman would run in, pull the angle cock, dump the air, and that would set the brakes on the car. You take your next car, lead the air off of it, weigh it, go 
back, but the knuckles give it a kick and it will roll down the hill and into the car that had been put down there already. But we really can't model this in model form. So the best uh, we can do is put our car down there as if it was our brake car. And then as we weigh each car, weigh it, push it over the scale, just clear the scale, and leave it there and come back, weigh the next one. And that's the process uh, we'll follow right here until all four cars are weighed. All four of our cars have been weighed and we've used our box car as a reach car across the scale so we could uh, couple into the all the way down to the car we originally weighed and dumped the air on and now we're going to pull them out. The cars have been weighed, the conductor will take the weigh tickets with him. When he gets back to the yard at uh, Lime Ridge, we go to tie up, he'll give the scale tickets to the clerk there, and the clerk will uh, use those weights to uh, prepare the outbound weigh bills for the movements of the cars to your final destinations. We pull down the west lead. So we're clear of three track switch and we're going to shove back into track three with our cement cars. Right from the line of switch, we're shoving back. Put our engines off. Now we're going to run back to the east yard and start bringing our train in and, and uh, spotting the cars in our train to Keystone Cement. Northampton and Bath Railroad. And I don't think there's any behind New England in the train today. Coupled into our train and now we're gonna start working it into the yard here. cut. I'm going to pull this part of the train down into track four. Okay, we pull our cars into track four. We're going to cut our engines off, go back down track five, and pull some more of our train in. Brakeman's pulled the pin, I'm going to line it, uh, he has us lined out, down the lead, okay, now we're going to go back and we're going to run through track 5. Now we're going to pull the rest of our train down the lead and then the track one. Now we're going to position the load to coal go into the coal bump. 
in the right place for us to grab off the one and shove them into the cold dump. Also position us to take these uh, covered hopper cars and spot them. Okay, brakeman's pulled the pin. We're gonna pull forward. Which is line, we're going to run back to a five track again to the other end of the yard. And we come out of the five track and we're going to come back down the lead. We come back up the lead. We're gonna couple into our caboose. We're gonna take our cars of cold, and we're gonna set them over to the coal dock as our first move. We're gonna pull out, and we're gonna set over our cars of cold as our first move. Shove our coal loads back into the coal dock. Into the coal track. Keystone coal dock is actually an underground pit. The conveyor belt that carries coal to the storage pile. Brickman's made the cut. We're going to leave that gondola car for scrap loading. Over in the coal truck for the time being. Shove back. Go against that empty that we cut off. Away from the coal. We came out with the coal. We've coupled into our empty that we left behind. Uh, we pulled the cold away from it and now we're going to shove back into the bulk tracks. Heading into bulk track one, we're going to fill that up first. Bolt car over in the bolt two. And we pull out of bolt two. We're going to go up the yard lead. Back down five track again. Run, run around to the other end of the yard. Pull up, we're going to leave our caboose in track 5. Brickman's made the cut. Pull it up. Clear the switch. Now we're going to go against the cars that we left in track 4. We're going to pull them back. back again towards track one. The cars were delivered to the N and B are in this cut. And go ahead, shut back. 
We keep on shoving down one track and right into bulk two and we'll set out those two every lock of one. Car is the keystone. We'll head with our N and B interchange cars. Break the line to switch. Now we're going to shove back into the N and B interchange track. Okay, we know what time we shoved in there, so the conductor can mark that on his uh, list. And he turns it back into the yard clerk at uh, Lime Junction, and then the yard clerk will phone the NMB, notify the NMB agent office in Northampton, PA, that we've delivered the cars to him. And at what time? We were weighing cars earlier, the conductor left the waybills for the NB crew in the scale house for them to pick up when they come for the cars. Now we're going to go back and get that gondola car for scrap loading and we're going to go spot it next. Order to spot this car into Cohen's scrap yard, we're going to have to make a run around move. First we're going to head into the scrap yard and we're going to pick up one loaded car of scrap. Shove back. I'm going to leave the empty for scrap yard and the dead rails of the scale. Just happens to be where we stopped. Clear the switch. And yeah, we're going to start pushing this car down the lead. Okay, brakeman's lined up. Switch for us. We're going to head into track four with our car of scrap. We'll leave it just in the clear, cut away from it. Okay, now we're going to run down track four. Track one behind our empty gondola car and run a couple into it. And next we're gonna push it up to Harvey Cohen's scrap yard and we're gonna spot it. Shoved it to a joint with the other car of scrap that was in there. Tied a handbrake. And now we're going to pull out. Okay, I'm pull down the lead and we're going to start to build our outbound train. First thing we're going to do is we got the one car cement that we're going to be setting out in the west track. And that car is bulk car right behind the package car cement. So we'll leave that car where it is and we'll just hang the package car when we make our set out 
at Harmony. We'll pick up our pick up track three first with our package car and our bulk cars. Make a cut behind our Lotus cement. Go west. Next we're gonna shove back to a joint with the empty coal cars in track two. They're also all west cars. Go, go west to Scranton and down the Bloomsburg branch. We got a handbrake here we gotta knock off. We got our west car cement against our west car of our cold empties. These cold empties will all go down the Bloomsburg branch to the Pennsylvania Railroad of Northumberland. They're going to change back to the west of Maryland, reverse route of where they came. Next we'll show back. Get our remaining cars of cement out of track three. Back to east. Okay. Oh, we did not make the joint. Go back and try again. Okay, that time. Well, next we'll go back against our car scrap. Stretch the train, make sure we got the caboose. Okay. We'll stop and we'll do our initial terminal air test. Rear man will start walking up from the caboose. The head man will start walking back from the engines. Then he'll be uh, checking that the air is set on one side of the train and checking his safety appliances that there's no Missing or bent grab irons or steps, ladders. They meet at the middle of the train. And they'll cross over the other side of the train. The engineer will do a release of the brakes. And they'll each walk back to the rear end, head into the train, inspecting the cars that the brakes have released and checking safety appliances on the other side of the train. And then once they are ready, the train will depart. Our air test is done. Brakemen uh, are back on the train. It's now time to depart Bath. Pull through the East Yard and head, head towards Lime Bridge.
first cement drill passes through the backyards of the homes of Harmony as it enters town. First cement drill comes around the curves of Harmony and cross shades of Death Road crossing. We're going to pull down to the east end of Harmony siding and we're going to set out our west cars. As we pull up to the east siding switch here at Harmony, we're going to pull our train by the switch until the last of the set out is at the switch. Now we're going to make a cut. We're going to pull out with our set out. Okay, brakeman's made the cut and we're pulling forward. Line the switch, giving us a come back sign, and shove into the west track. Shove our set out into the west track and shove it back to a joint. The car is in there already. We can go in between, couple up the air hoses, pump up the air, and the cars are in there already. So we can shove them back. Brakes are releasing, we're going to shove back. Crossing, we're going to stop, we're going to cut off. Okay, if you remember, box car was an east car, so we hung on to that car while we made our set out, and now we're going to go back to our train. Pull out our siding and back out onto the main. And next we'll show back to a joint with our tray. Switch is line, put the come back sign, go back to a joint. Now we'll do a set and release of the air on the caboose for an air test, and then we'll be departing. Air test is made, the conductor is given the high ball from the caboose steps. And we'll pull out of Harmony and get through Prosperity and on over to Lime Ridge. Pull up to the crossing at Northampton Street. 
Stop. Our first path drill goes past the industries on the west side of Prosperity. Watch as the first path drill goes down the yard lead at Lime Ridge and through the switch at Lime Junction and onto the main line to head for Hidden Valley and it started its descent down the steep grade to the Delaware River. As we watched the uh, first cement drill, start down the steep grade towards the Delaware River Valley for its trip to, uh, back to Port Morris Yard. That concludes this video. I thank you for watching. I asked you to give it a like please and to subscribe to our channel and more videos and blog posts can be found at traymasterbob.com